Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Heritage Pride Custom Firearms uh, on the Heritage Pride Homestead. And today we are working on video four, I think, of the how to build a greenhouse or hoop house. Um, today we're working on the plastic, uh, putting the UV plastic on the greenhouse. And uh, so I've already done a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the process in which I'm, I'm doing it. So let me take you over and show you what we've got done, and then we'll come back and I'll have Stevie uh, kind of film the process of us uh, preparing for the next piece. All right, so here's what I've got done so far. I got the back done, and I got half of the front done. So the first thing I did was, like I talked about in the other video, I got some duct tape and taped over my connectors wherever the bolts went through just to make it smooth there so that we don't snag the plastic on anything. Um, and then this I thought was kind of genius uh, if I say so myself but so they make a material that for hoop houses that comes on a roll it's like a nylon fabric stuff it's a little bit more narrow than this but basically what it is is it's a staple strip so you know if you was to staple just the plastic it'll kind of it'll pull through the staple just pull through if the wind blows it pull right through so you lay this black strip across it and then staple through that and that keeps your staple from penetrating the plastic. Um, quick, Caleb. So what I did was, I got to thinking, the stuff is pretty expensive and I was going to have to order it. Nobody around here, don't push on that. Nobody around here has um, that stuff that I know of. So I got to thinking, nylon webbing for hanging duct work, like your air conditioning and heating duct work. They sell it at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. It comes in a 50-foot roll, and it's super cheap. And basically, that's what I'm using. So on the instead of doing the cardboard like I was going to do on the edges, I just ran, because this stuff is so cheap, I just ran this up and stapled it ever so often. And then the plastic just pulls right over it, and it keeps it from snagging on my my connectors and on the edges of the wood and the all that stuff. So I did the back uh, and the front, and then we, to plastic, to do the plastic I figured out how wide I needed it I went a few inches more on either side and then how tall I would need it and I made it about a foot taller than what I needed right off the bat and I actually was a little bit taller than that um, and then I took a 2 by 4 and cut it the length of the width of the greenhouse and then I laid the plastic out on the ground rolled the 2 by 4 up in it and then uh, used one I, I just rolled it like twice and then I used some of the fabric and ran it across and just stapled the plastic to the 2x4 then I rolled the 2x4 the rest of the way up to make it easy to carry brought it over here and then unrolled it and ran some screws through that 2x4 into the our foundation of the greenhouse to hold it nice and level all the way across there and then all I'll do now is just take some 1x I've got some scrap 1x cedar I'll take some one by and just put over that and just shoot it with some uh, ring shank nails and then I might even do a little top cap on it too um, but anyway just stretched it out over the top pulled it tight and right now these are just stapled through the plastic so uh, those would pull out and then I wrapped it around um, wrapped it around and just tacked it under there and cut off the excess so now when we put our top on here it'll go on and come over the edge here and then we'll take that black nylon and we'll go right up the edge and staple all the way around it with that and then we'll go back like you can see here I use some across the uh, on the front here just to hold it for now but I'm gonna go back and go across this board here too um, and anywhere I put staples to help hold it to the frame I'll use that black nylon webbing and uh, that'll help hold it uh, in place so we got the back stretched, put on, and then I've got the right side of the greenhouse on the front done. Uh, same concept, I just uh, left it a little bit wider so that I could overlap and then we'll make the other one wide too. We can overlap over the door here. Not super important, that could really not even be there, but just to, uh, just to make sure it's covered with plastic. So we do the same thing across the front, two by four there. And then uh, after I got it all webbed out with the nylon, wrapped the corner here for the door, and then uh, went ahead and stuck my window in 
because it was that was sitting here and Stevie's been helping me and so she had to go in for a little bit so I spent a little bit of time doing that and now we're getting ready to do this other front section here um, we're gonna do it the same way we've been doing it we're gonna take and roll a 2x4 up in it and then uh, stretch it out staple it on and then go back and put the webbing on um, when we do the top we will do it the same uh, kind of the same way we've been doing it uh, we'll start with one two by four the full length here I got a couple of 16 footers um, and we'll we'll go the full length lay the plastic out roll it up in it and then uh, uh, take and attach it and then stretch the plastic over top of the hoop house down to the other side and then we'll take and start our uh, next two by four then um, so that we know how much to roll it up and stretch it and all that stuff and then uh, attach it into place too. Once that's stretched out over the top then we can go back and pull our ends around and staple everything and make it nice and tight. So um, I'm, we're going to get started on this other front section here. If I can find a spot to set the camera to record us doing it I will. If not then I'll bring you back on just a little bit. All right, guys, so it's the next evening now. Um, whew, man, last night was killer. We are out here finishing up in the dark. Uh, I was afraid. They were calling for rain today. I had work I had to do today. So I wanted to get the top on this thing uh, before we got any rain or thunderstorms. Um, and then I ran out of storage space on my uh, memory card yesterday while I was recording and I uh, didn't realize that I, it had shut off um, so I was recording and was just gonna go back and cut in some clips and and then you know have the rest of it ran out of storage didn't realize it so needless to say I don't have a lot of, of uh, footage but basically once we finished up the front I think that's the last footage that I have um, I went back with that nylon webbing and went all the way around everything with nylon webbing and that keeps from pulling screws through the plastic and it also keeps like I said the staples from pulling through you see that turned out really good it's nice and tight um, through the windows in the storm windows I picked up at Lowe's on clearance for super cheap um, and I had framed out the front for that so we knew those were gonna go in there um, and then for the top uh, basically it's just like uh, just like the rest of it now the top is not as tight as I would like for it to be. Um, down here it's really, really good and tight. Uh, I mean as tight as I would want it to be. So I mean it turned out really good here. But over on this side it gets a little bit more slack. A little bit, It's a little bit tighter here but then it's got some slack here. I'm okay with that. It's not like sagging. Um, 
it's just not as tight as I would like it to be, but I'm OCD about stuff like that. So this side, <laughs> this side is tight, which is weird. It's a lot tighter. It's not near as loose as the other side. So anyway, I think it has to do with something being a little bit out of square. Uh, because like, for instance, that side, we put that two by four on like we did the rest of them. Um, and started there and then flip the plastic over to this side and then wrap this two by four up on it uh, but it was hard to get it you know and it was dark so that didn't help any either so anyway it, it, I mean it's fine it, it's gonna be it's gonna serve its purpose um, it's a greenhouse it's not a mansion um, but I'm happy with it I'm happy with the way it turned out um, it's killer in here right now like it's not too bad hot which it's in the evening right now uh, probably about six o'clock maybe a little bit after six and you can definitely feel a temperature difference in here but it's not like super hot um, and it has been all day today so not having a door and having the windows open so the only thing really left as far as the external frame plastic whatever is to put in the exhaust fan back there other than that we're done with all of our greenhouse framework so We'll say this will be the last greenhouse how-to video. Um, and then I will actually do some more videos for the greenhouse, but not how to build one because we're done building it, basically. Um, the rest will be like putting electricity in your greenhouse, uh, building our benches for the hydroponic rail system, things like that. So, um, But as far as the construction goes, I would say we're pretty much done. So anyway, guys, uh, just wanted to give a little shout out uh, on the plastic. This is the greenhouse UV resistant plastic. Now, do you need it? No, you don't have to have it. I've seen a lot of guys build little greenhouses that last two or three years. Um, well, if you're lucky, you'll get two or three years. The, it, I've seen them build them uh, that last at least one good year out of just some good six mil plastic from Lowe's or any big box store. Uh, but with the UV resistant greenhouse plastic, you'll get a lot more years out of your out of your greenhouse with it. As long as you take care of it, you patch holes before they turn into tears. But it is very, very expensive. Um, I priced it and to do enough to do my greenhouse I basically needed a 25 foot by 25 foot sheet to have enough to do the front and the back and the top um, and that was gonna run me about 280 bucks I think it's very expensive stuff uh, fortunately uh, I've been doing some work for a couple and right next to their farm is a greenhouse farm a nursery and they had just, since we'd been working over there over the course of uh, the uh, late winter, they started constructing two new greenhouses. So I stopped over there one day and I asked, I said, hey, have you guys got, got some greenhouse plastic I could buy from you? And he was like, yeah, we got a big roll. And so we went out back and we rolled out 20, it was, comes in 25 foot wide, but they had like a 2,000 foot roll of it. It was on a big, big roll. Um, so we rolled out 25 feet, cut it off, folded it up. I reached in my wallet, I reached in my pocket, grabbed my wallet and pulled it out. And he actually gave me this plastic so I didn't have to buy it. Um, he didn't charge me a dime for it. I insisted I pay him, he wouldn't let me. So I went ahead and uh, I told him if he ever needed anything that he could always call me because that he didn't have to do that and that was a huge blessing. Um, so that saved me a ton of money on the construction part for the greenhouse. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to try to find them on Facebook. I don't know that they are going to be on Facebook, but I'm going to try to find them. And, you know, on average, I usually get, um, you know, right off the bat, uh, a few hundred views on my videos uh, within the first couple of days. Everybody that watches this video, instead of liking this video, if I can find them on Facebook, I'll put a link on here. If there's no link, then I didn't find them. I want you to go to their page and like their page. Um, does it give them any money? No. It does. If you're local, cool, it'd be cool if you could buy from them. 
But uh, how about we bombard them with likes on their Facebook page? So don't like, I mean, don't like this video. If you if you had to choose to like mine or like them, go like go like their Facebook page. Um, you know, if you want to shoot me a like on here too, it's one click and that'd be cool. But uh, more so than liking this video or commenting on this video or anything like that, go over check them out. Like I said, if I can find them um, and like them, so like their page. How cool would it be to bombard their page and get like 300 likes overnight? That'd be sweet, right? So anyway, guys, that's it for the How to Build a uh, Greenhouse series. Like I said, stay tuned for more greenhouse videos. Uh, but as far as this one, uh, it is complete and we're about to start. We're going to get our electric to it and uh, start getting our benches built and get our hydroponics going. I'm super excited about all that. So, Anyway, guys, till next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.